today we're going to talk about parenting after a loss or after two losses so yeah let's start so yeah guys uh, thank you so much for subscribing and thank you so much for following our journey and uh, the support that you have been giving us from the time that we were trying to conceive and after we brought our son home and uh, I think for us it, this is a video that uh, or rather this is a journey that we have looked forward to sharing especially the parenting part of it because if you have always wanted something for so long and now finally you've got this thing so now what <laughs> how does life look now that we we have what we have always wanted to have which is um a child children you know we've always wanted to grow a family and now we have that and i think you can hear him in the background he's busy playing with the rattle which just fell but that's fine um a question that we get asked about the most is that um are we happy you know how stressful is it is it you know like people say the sleepless nights and uh, how are we managing that and i think for us one thing that i would always say is that uh, especially for my part that i'm very blessed to have married a traditional man who still understands how to be empathetic and how to um to put aside what society would say he should be in our home i don't know if that makes sense and what i mean by that is that he doesn't mind waking up at 3 a.m in the evening and help me if you know the baby's being problematic you know he's crying and he can't stop crying he wakes up he sits up with me and he helps me whereas in the more traditional setup the baby is mine <laughs> all he should be doing is sleeping and minding his own business and i think we have managed to um to find a balance in how much i do as a mom and how much he does as a dad um as a working dad to put it as such because he's away most of the day and then when he comes home he's exhausted but there's still a part of he's a husband and he's a dad when when he comes home and perhaps you can share how that has been for yourself okay so i think for me from the beginning the most difficult thing was to balance being a father and also balance being a working father for it's two it's one thing because i work long hours so i'll go to work and then i work 12 hours then i come back and then i have to now kind of sacrifice two hours with my family and then i'm tired and then after that two hours then it's just trying to sleep while the baby's making noise so at the beginning it was difficult when he was like in the first month into the second month he was a colicky but, baby and most people wouldn't know what a colicky baby is yeah. but i didn't want to take the option of sleeping in a separate bedroom so i just decided you know what i'll get used to it and then as time went on i got used to it and and also like there were times where like for both of us the baby would cry we don't know what to do which I think is normal for every parent, they go through that. But for us, I think it was also motivating to know that we wanted this person and now he's here. But then going through this, the, the normal things of parenting. But then to us, it was extra special is that we've been praying. It's not a oopsie, it's not a, it's a baby that we wanted. So then that kind of then, it didn't even, it just automatically became a motivation. We never spoke about it like, okay, let's be happy. We were just both naturally happy and then even now I come home from work and he's done something new or every time when I walk, walk in from work, he has this beautiful smile that he gives, I call it a side smile, which makes his mother jealous because they spend the whole day together. And then and when his dad comes in, it's like, oh, there's manna from heaven. Bye, mom. My dad is here. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's what happens. I think um, babies are cute in that way. They they kind of notice the patterns and they adjust to it. So I, I think he knows now I spend most of the day with my mom. So then when my dad gets home, he gets excited. He, I think it also changes sleeping patterns in a mm -hmm. way that when I come from work, he's awake. 
and then I, I make sure every night that I go with him in bed fed. So we make his bottle, then I take him to bed, then I try to get him to sleep in the same time that I sleep, which then seems to be working. And But obviously as he gets older, we try to adjust another sleeping pattern that works for babies. But yeah, so that's what I've been going through. And that's what, as a working dad, so I'm just speaking from my side as a working dad. But as a couple, we've been, yeah, we've been happy. We've been enjoying taking pictures with an extra person. And it's not longer just me now taking pictures of my wife. It's more like we prep the baby, take pictures of him, and then take pictures together. And that's like, if we even get to taking pictures yeah. of us. <laughs> so that's been fun, I think. And then a lot of people, um, Sometimes you don't realize that a lot of people, they want to see more. So yeah. every time people are like, ah, post more pictures, or oh, show me pictures of the baby. And then, yeah, he's a joy to have. And he has a lot of, he's made a lot of friends. He's told all our friends. And he's become a special person to everyone. So, and I, I think on that point, I think that's something that we, I, I don't think we realized how, how many people were, with us in our struggle that when he was born if if i could i think like i would insert some of the reactions that we got when we made some you know video calls and we like guys we brought the baby home i remember uh one very close friend of ours olin and i know that he's gonna watch this he literally cried and that for me was like this child is loved as much as we love him as his parents but um we are going to be raising him up within a community of people that love him within a community of people that we know we can trust to help us to raise him they always say that it takes a village to raise a child and i believe that the village that we are surrounded with it's one that i, I would not exchange you know for for, for anything and even in my down days where you know I didn't have a good night, he didn't sleep well, I haven't rested, but just a phone call from somebody asking, hey, how are you doing, how's the baby doing, and sometimes we'd even have some of our friends offer to come over, and a simple thing such as washing the dishes for me while I take a 30 minute nap, that meant a lot, you know, to me, it meant a lot to my own functioning uh, mobility, you know, or, or ability rather, and um, on a day-to-day -day basis, we like he said, most of our friends are like, how's the baby? And then after, how's the baby? Oh, how are you guys doing? <laughs> so we even, like I started nicknaming him, him uh, my CEO, because I'm like, you know what? It seems as if like I have been fully time, full time employed by this guy and the world revolves around him and everybody only wants him. And then after that, then it's us. So I'm the PA and this is the chief, um, operations officer what is a coo whatever coo is that's him <laughs> and i'm the pa because i get to do everything that, uh, that that he wants me to do but uh it, it hasn't been um an easy journey it's been a joy but at the same time it, it has not been easy because a lot of people think or rather they thought that once we have a child in our home we are going to forget about the other children that we have had that we were not able to bring home and one thing that I would love for people to know and understand that losing a child and having a child thereafter does not replace the child that you have lost. Nope, it does not. It does not mean that now everything is joyous, it's, 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 it's marvelous, and um, we don't uh, talk about the loss, we, we, we don't think about it, or anything like that. And in our household, we still talk about our losses. We still talk about, you know, oh, the what ifs, because most of our pregnancy timelines, they interlap into each other. So it's one of those things where we're like, okay, now we do have a child in the house. Now we're getting to balance the, the feelings of grief and the feelings of, of joy. And I think because we, 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 we talk a lot, we have managed to balance it out because we are able to ask each other, how do you feel about this? How, how am I feeling? And um, we don't judge each other in the way that we have dealt with our previous losses. And that has really, really, really helped us to appreciate what we now have and know that the child that we have now, Kundiso is not a replacement 
of our two older sons that we lost. He is an individual on his own. He's got his own personality. And even his pregnancy was way different <laughs> to the other two pregnancies. Actually, all three of my pregnancies were very, very different. And even I was different. And he can attest <laughs> to that. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a journey. It um, has had its ups and downs. Um, with the ups and downs, we have also had um, a lot of wins and uh, a couple of losses and we really just look forward to doing life with our little man knowing that you know we love him um the tribe that surrounds us both from my family my husband's family they they, they love him he's a child that has really just even brought us closer you know as as a couple and even as um as a family because like my family like my brother, I don't know, I think we speak probably four or five times a week. Even his wife is like, how's my baby doing? How's... So it, it, he has really brought a lot of joy around us. And he has helped unite us in, in, in a way that it's unexplainable. And, and it's really just an amazing feeling to know that a human being, a little human being who really doesn't know much, could do that. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I think that's it for now. But I think it's been fun and it's been i think for me i there's moments that i enjoy like changing his nappy i think he enjoys that as well because he likes to play he gets excited so he gets excited if you're going to change his nappy if you give him his nappy to play with it or the clean one <laughs> yeah, yes. so yeah i think it's it's going well or yeah. it's going as it should um it's just learning and i think we naturally just found ways of who does what at what time and yeah. then that seems to work and the CEO is introducing himself so thank you very much I'll bring it. <laughs> so we're gonna get to see him because he, does, he doesn't like being uh, ignored for too long he wants yeah. to be featured say hello world hmm? Hello. So for those that doesn't know, this is Kundiso. And um, he is the chosen rainbow. He's the rainbow that chose us. And I think that's where that name came from, the mm -hmm. chosen rainbow. That um, we were looking for a rainbow. And when we found one, it chose us. He, yeah, we believe that he chose us to be his parents. We didn't choose him, he chose us. And we accept that <laughs> with wide open arms and we're excited. So thank you guys for, um, for being here and uh, you know, for asking all the many questions that you do ask. They do teach us a lot about ourselves. And uh, it's just great to have the conversation, talk about things. And um, yeah, so if you have not subscribed, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you get notified the next time that uh, we post a video. Thank you so much. Thank you. Say thank you. Have a good Hey, thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you, guys. <laughs>